my name is Emily Serafin. I'm from South Carolina, Region 5. Uh, so my name is Neda Gupta, and I'm from District 10 of Virginia. I'm Jenna McClellan, and I'm from District 2 in New Mexico. My mother, she does lots of things where she goes around the state, and she doesn't really know where to find a clean restroom. So we've had the idea for an app that would allow busy travelers to find a clean restroom so they wouldn't feel uncomfortable. So every single day I would walk home from school and every single day I would feel really vulnerable because uh, I felt like maybe people were following me or because I was walking alone I felt, I felt unsafe and so I decided to create my app because I felt like I needed a resource in which I could rely on in order to make myself feel safe and have a, basically a safety net while I'm walking home. So my mom suffers from food allergies and every day for the past few years I've seen how hard it is for her to deal with those allergies and I've seen how hard it is for her to deal with her allergies on top of cooking for my family. And so I created an app called the Allergen Cookbook to help people with allergies manage both their food allergies by sorting and searching through their recipes. I had very, very, very little experience with coding before this and with the basic scratch program. So um, that for sure was a difficulty. <laughs> Learning how to code in general was pretty fun. So that was nice. One thing that I really enjoyed seeing was the finished product at the end of development. Just seeing that I had a product that could work and that could actually help people was really great to see. So basically my app tracks the user's location and makes sure that they get to a predetermined destination within a predetermined time. And if the user doesn't get to that destination by that time, then it sends a, a predetermined message to a, a contact that you've set before uh, with the last known location tracked by the app of yours, and it's called Safe Travel. If I could go back to the day that I started coding the Allergen Cookbook, I would just advise myself to not give up and to keep trying. Learning Swift and learning a new language was really difficult, but persevering was really important and that was what ultimately allowed me to complete the app in the end. No idea is a bad idea and no matter what, it doesn't matter. If you want to do something, you should just do it. No one's stopping you. The only person stopping you is yourself.